Welcome to tutorial number 170. In this tutorial, we will talk about the next sheet metal feature, rib. You can find the rib here before the last feature, insert bins. So in this tutorial, we will see how to use the rib feature and have a look at the rib parameters and see how the rib works and the cases you need to have in order for the rib to work. And then we'll have a look at drip options, drip directions, gap distance, and then we'll see how to make a sketched drip. So first, let's start making a new part, almost similar to the one we made in the previous tutorial, and see how we can drip the edges by the drip feature instead of converting to sheet metal. So let's define it and give it a distance 65 extrude it 50 with 25 outward drop angle click OK so now let's try to trim the edges in order to produce a similar chip by sheet metals. So let's go to sheet metal, rib, and here it will ask you to select the edges. Simply you can pick the edges and you will see the arrows in two directions. Now we selected the edges to be ripped, but in this case it will not work because you need to have a clear shape. You should imagine the solid feature as a box or a sheet metal part before ripping it. So let's now click OK. You'll see the rib error. So close this and Let's chill the shape. Go to feature, go to shell, and let's say that you want to make this shape by sheet metal plates of thickness one millimeter. So let's make it one millimeter chill. Click OK. And this is the initial shape of the solid feature. Now, let's go to sheet metal rib. There will be also another case that it may not work to select all the edges at once. So you need to select one by one. Let's just first try to select all the edges. Click OK, you will get again a geometry error. So clear section. And now let's just apply to only two edges to see the shape of the rib. Now we will get two errors, so the rib will be equal in both sides. And the gap distance, 0.1. Click OK, and here you get the rib over there. So this a sort of this solid feature, how it would look like if you would like to produce it by a sheet metal part. So this is compared with the previous tutorial shape. Here is the sheet metal part from the previous tutorial and it's made by the convert to sheet metal feature and here we have ribs as you notice on that side and in this case or by drip method you have the ribs in that chip let's continue adding more ribs let's this time add to this edge 
on this edge and let's make it just in one direction click on the arrow or you can change the direction here so you will have arrow in that direction and in that direction click ok so you'll notice how the rip looks like so you can now continue to the rest of the edges or let's suppress these two edges and add the rip to the edges And the gap distance, let's make it 0.1. Click OK. So, this is the solid part. If we would like to make it by sheet metal plates, let's now try to make a similar ribs. This one here, you have ribs on the edges, and you have one drip over there so let's try to make it go drip and select this edge click ok now it looks almost similar to the ribs made by the com to convert to sheet metal so let's go back to the previous example if you go down there you have sketch drip over there so let's see how we can do it by the rip feature go to the part start sketch over there let's roll back make a sketch over there and let's draw a line over there Exit the sketch, roll forward. You can edit the sketch over there to add another edge. This one, click OK. You will also get that rib over there. So let's edit and delete that edge, make it in a new rib. Select that line and make the gap point to Click OK. So this is also one way to manipulate with solid parts in order to get to exact shape. As you know, there can be a lot of shapes, tricky shapes. And for now, we saw many approaches how to work with them. We, from the beginning of this course, we had a look at the base flange feature, and then we look at, at the forming tools. Then we look at, at the convert to sheet metal. Now we see the web. And in the next tutorials, we will see also another approaches how to sweep a sheet metal part. Also, there is another way to make more complicated chips with sheet metals by lofted bins. So at the end of this course, you will have an idea about these options. Um, you will be able to decide which approach is easier and better to reach to the requirements and also this course will be a good reference to repeat it again and again to have a look to the features